Yeah, good day YouTubers. Uh, this is the second video I'm making just to give you some update of my new one uh, meter column I built with a new reflux condenser that I've designed myself. Um, as you can see, um, it's running pretty good. Um, I'll show you the outflow at, at the moment we're running I've got my PID set at 90 degrees Celsius I'm running at about 233 volts and roughly about 2000 watts uh, the internal temperature of the module on the inside with the um, it's uh, reading about 30 degrees uh, running about eight and a half amps um, about one and a half hour in the run all up uh, we've got a 3.23 kilowatt per hour power consumption and at the moment I've got a manual gauge on the top which is a store spirits gauge and it's giving me 77 degrees Celsius at the top of the head of my reflux condenser and I'll show you this white cord where it's plugged in so that's where the probe goes in And on the other side, I've got another probe that goes in that side, which you can see that, with the silver wire and the yellow. Uh, that's going to the PID controller. Currently, it's reading 90 degrees on the top of the uh, head of the reflux condenser. Although the other one shows 77 degrees Celsius. So it seems like the PID controller is giving me a higher reading. Plus minus about uh, 12 degrees higher. The bottom reading is 97 degrees. That's at the bottom of the, uh, of the um, boiler. I've got another probe at the bottom of the boiler to see what the temperature is. At the bottom of the boiler but there's nothing plugged in there as you can see on the socket i'm only using the top socket and the bottom one is not giving me any output as you can see on the on the voltage gauge and display so yeah the top one is for the reflux condenser and the temperature at the top of the column that i'm currently running so i started off at 235 volts 2015 watts about 8.58 amps i started at 90 degrees celsius on the pid it was a one hour and four minutes i had one liter already uh, done and we used 2.18 kilowatts per hour so I started, started the boil and started catching um, the start on was 13.45. I started catching the second liter at 14.50 and then started catching the third liter at 15.20 so it's only half an hour per liter. So I'm getting a pretty good result there. Currently, that's uh, the first leak of court, as you can see there. This is the second one of court, and then this is the third leader I'm busy with now. Uh, I started this at 15:20, and I don't know if you can see the little stream there. A little stream coming in, nice constant little stream coming from the, the parrot. Uh, 
And as you can see, uh, the PID just turned off. And she's actually started to slow down on the drip. So it's just dripping a little bit. And now the PID is kicked back in, starting to boil again. And it's still running at 77 degrees. This is the water temperature, outlet temperature. 74 and a half on the reflux reflux water coming out of the reflux condenser so this is uh, just starting to come out nice nice steady, steady little stream so she's just just dripping Currently I'm running about roughly about 91% on the third litre. Roughly about 91%. And nice steady little stream there. What you want to look at is uh, make sure that you get a nice steady little stream and then a little drip and then a steady little stream again. You can see the steady little stream. Got about a half a bottle, almost a half a bottle. Uh, this is the four shots. I've got 100 mils of the four shots that I took off right in the beginning before I started the stilling. Uh, and kicked in the reflux condenser. So 100 mils, you gotta take 100 mils off at the beginning of your run. That's where all the nasty, bad um, uh, acetones and stuff is. You can't drink that, it's uh, poison. Going back to the PID. As you can see the red light flashes on and off, that indicates um, that it, the element is getting its power. So the element is running on the top PID, the bottom PID is just uh, boiler temperature at the bottom of the boiler. As you can see, the PID kicked back in again, supplying power to the elements. So currently, this is a 30 litre boiler, it's just a normal urn that I made a hole in the, in the lid, put a silicone seal in. Um, currently it's filled up to about 20 litres, which is about 
about three quarters. The thermostat, I've got to turn it 110 degrees. And as you can see, it's getting the power kicked off to the element. Yeah, it's getting its power again from the PID controller. So I'll show you the, the water flow. So from the SP, this is the water that's coming from the pump. So I just got a Y piece with two, two little taps that I can turn it on and off if I have to. And that splits to the main condenser, which is this one here. So the water comes in here, it flows up, and then back into this one here, which is my outlet from the main condenser, and that goes back into the esky. And that's just overflowing. Yeah, as you can see, it's flowing back into the esky. This is a 120 litre esky that I'm using. I'm currently on my third. I've uh, done two and a half litres already. So the other, from the other Y piece, I got it split. I split my main cooling condenser and I'm splitting 